I am the principal of Plan B Communications. Plan B is a retained executive recruiting practice that focuses on communications and marketing search. Uh, I have been in search for about six years. I started Plan B in October 2008, and prior to that, I spent about 20 years as a corporate communications and marketing professional. I was going to take. Um, I had envisioned myself a corporate communications professional forever, and I happened to just fall into recruiting, but it felt right because I was recruiting for the same jobs that I had held. So my my insight was different from someone who had been a career recruiter. Be discouraged if things don't happen as quickly as you would like them to happen. Um, a job search for at for anyone at any point in their career is a commitment. Probably a little bit of an edge for a, uh, a generalist communicator right now, but it's also willingness to roll up your sleeves and, and do whatever needs to get done. I think a few months ago and I said, where do you see growth? And he said, Latin America and Asia are booming. He said, if candidates from American schools can maneuver, understand the culture, and, and bring that perspective to American-based companies, they are going to be very, very much in demand. Uh, graduates are looking for jobs. How should they be using social media, and perhaps more critically, how should they not be mm -hmm. using social media? I have found candidates on LinkedIn. Someone actually who I placed a few years ago was here speaking here, I think, last night. Um, just traditional writing, the ability to do a press release, so that the social media hires that are being made are really a combination of, of both sets of communication skills. And I'm gonna uh, jump on that one just to remind you all that the single most critical success factor is your writing. And what HARO is, are reporters across the country, all types of reporters, from, from television news to print, who are looking for experts in, uh, that they can talk with for their articles. And on occasion, I will, you know, when it's you know, job search or career related, I will respond. Last week there was one about uh, someone looking for insight on college graduates and how would you suggest they, they take care of their job or start their job searches. So I, I responded and I said, well here, boom, boom, boom. My first thing, cleanse your Facebook, and then I said a couple of other things. And the person wrote back to me, the head of the site wrote back and said, this is really great information. Instead of me interviewing you, would you just write an article? It was tweeted, it was put on LinkedIn, it was put on Facebook. Now, I wanted to share with all of you that the head of that site, um, and my contact information is on the sheet, the head of that site knew I was coming here to do this event tonight, and he said, we are a growing business community but if any of the students that you talk with are interested in doing an unpaid internship, they look for interns all the time. And, and, stream, and, and someone and asked that images have an extremely long half-life. Words, words don't carry that kind of impact. Different but feedback on my resume from many people. Um, <laughs> contradictory, usually <laughs> very contradictory. So students my searches. But I saw missteps being taken with resumes so frequently that I actually took my time and I created a resume template that um, represented to me the, the greatest hits of all the resumes I've seen. And How do you feel about like a, like a graphically designed PDF resume versus just a straight up Microsoft Word text and lines resume versus like resume website? I would say to anyone, no photos, absolutely no photos, no stylized um, writing of your name because the resume very often has to go through an applicant tracking system. So highly, highly stylized resumes could end up getting stuck. And something has to be used to get to a short list. So it's in that opening paragraph and it doesn't have to be long, three or four very, very powerful sentences. Uh, I was wondering that if I just choose several of them but make more for it. As an example, if someone has the year of graduation, you know, say 1995, but their work experience starts at 2001, 
I want to know what was going on in those six years because I know that the client is going to ask for that information. demystify applicant oh, tracking right. systems mm. because the overwhelming majority of people <laughs> with whom I speak about their job searches will say, I applied through the website, I hit submit, and I never heard from them You had mentioned in the presentation how important it was with the LinkedIn, a two-way street with LinkedIn. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. LinkedIn is one of the many tools that I use. Um, while working as a recruiter. And LinkedIn represents, for me, relationships. And relationships to be successful are always two-way streets. So a, I am not one of those people who need to have 1,500 people in their network because I simply don't want to have 1,500 relationships exactly. with them. And, and time would not allow those to be uh, high-quality relationships. So I, would, I always prefer to have a very lengthy conversation with anyone before I link in with them. And what that will do is give me um, some insight into who they are, what their drivers are. They will get to know me. And as the relationship takes uh, takes form, that's how we help each other. Great. And LinkedIn is one way to do that. Thank you so much.